Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. I know it has been a little while since I've done a review and I apologize for that. I've been very, very busy. But finally today we get to review the five pack for Target for this year, which is the El Toro Loco Evolution Edition five pack. And this is a very interesting pack. You know, it had a lot of potential and I do want to express some opinions about it as a collector and fan of Monster Jam. I do often do this in my videos and yes, I'm partnered with Spin Master, but they do allow me to express my honest and open opinions about things so that they can change or alter things for future releases that align better with accurate historical events of Monster Jam or just the collector and community feedback. So I will be expressing my opinions in the next few minutes. So if you guys want to skip ahead to the actual review, feel free to. I'm going to chapter out this video as I usually do now. So you guys can feel free to skip right ahead. But if you guys want to hear what I think about this pack, which there are a couple things that I'm pretty disappointed about, please feel free to stay and listen to this part of the video. So the first main thing I actually want to talk about is the fact that this is an Evolution Edition 5 pack. And the reason that they did the Evolution Edition name is because Bulldozer up there is not El Toro Loco and vice versa. So I do appreciate Spin Master taking the time to actually approve Evolution Edition from my own suggestion for this 5 pack. However, looking back on it now, I think it actually was uh, less effective since they took out the original El Toro Loco paint scheme and replaced it with the modern day 2021 El Toro Loco. So my personal idea, uh, if I had to restructure this pack before production, would have been to pull the bulldozer out of the pack completely, since we just got this exact model in Series 17, and add in the red white horned El Toro Loco into this area here, because the original El Toro Loco has to be in an Evolution 5 pack. There is no excuse for it to not be in either a retro 5 pack or an Evolution 5 pack, because the original paint scheme of the truck that debuted is not here. And that's the biggest issue I have with this pack. There was also a lot of potential for Bulldozer in this pack because they could have actually done red rims and a red logo and had a Bulldozer that we have never seen from any company before. However, we're getting a re-release of Series 17 exactly, the same exact one, from that recent release here in this pack. So it has no exclusive factor, which makes it actually Spin Master's first official 164 scale repeat as well. So Bulldozer lost a lot of points for that. Then the 2001 El Toro Loco is not even a 2001 El Toro Loco. It's actually an orange El Toro Loco body from modern day Monster Jam. So basically the recent years of 20, 11, I believe is when the paint scheme changed or something like that to 2021. So the last decade, this is not 2001. And I'll show you in a moment why I'm so upset about that because they actually released uh, the target photos. So target employees basically use their little scanners they call zebras and got photos of the product, this five pack early as the prototype stage. And it had the Red El Toro Loco in there and everyone was super excited about it. I was super excited about it to see it finally released in a five pack. Um, it made sense having it in here and then uh, they changed that plan. So now this is the first time the public is actually noticing and finding out about this change in plans. So I'm sure I'm gonna see a lot of feedback as it relates to the missing El Toro Loco. So I also have an alternative opinion and compromise to this pack. If they really wanted this El Toro Loco in here, they could have taken out Yellow Toro Loco because Yellow Toro Loco just got two releases in the last two years in the singles packs. And having it with the orange beads is not really the most exciting thing in the world. It also throws off the continuity of all the retro tires. Um, but we'll come back to that in a moment. So now let's transition into the actual packaging. So welcome back to the review. If you guys skipped ahead, here's the actual layout of the box. You can see it has the uh, years of the El Toro Loco, 1999 to 2013. 1999 is coming from Bulldozer because this was the first truck with the bull uh, look here before El Toro Loco came along uh, and actually drove side by side with El Toro Loco. Then we have Evolution Edition. So that's the first time we're getting an Evolution pack instead of Retro pack. El Toro Loco only at Target. The same brush metal look as every year. We have Yellow Toro Loco proudly displayed on the side as its own little area. Uh, there's the back. We'll come back to it in a moment. But here's this side with the modern day El Toro Loco 
Turloco in orange, the black El Turloco, and the yellow Turloco once again. And then the back of the box here has a few things that I'm also going to talk about in terms of opinion. So uh, the first thing you'll notice is that these photos on this side of the box are not historically accurate. Uh, these photos were definitely not taken in the 90s. However, I will give them credit for the fact that this is exactly how Bulldozer looked like in the 90s. So there's not much love lost here with these photos. They are just obviously not 1999 photos. These, however, 2001 being rebranded, or I should say 2021 being rebranded as 2001 is definitely noticeable, at least by the adult collector community. Um, they are not gonna not notice this. This is definitely modern day El Toro Loco. BKT tires obviously did not exist back then. And um, you can just tell it's a modern day setting with the modern day pod and arena shows. So yeah, this was a really interesting switch here for compromising 2001. And then 2008, I guess, just doesn't exist where Maroon El Toro Loco should be. So there's the Maroon El Toro Loco. Um, so they just cut 2008 completely off the back of the box and replaced it with yet another 2021 orange El Toro Loco. And then uh, black El Toro Loco and yellow Toro Loco, they're fine. They're perfectly accurate to the time period. So I like this. However, this is black El Toro Loco's logo. So that technically should be here. And this logo should be here. Um, so these two need to be switched. But yeah, the box is kind of iffy in terms of historically accurate time periods. This definitely is the big um, standout here, the outlier. Uh, the 2001 category like i just expressed for the last few minutes so let's unbox this pack actually i'm actually reshooting this video so all i gotta do is this we'll just take them right off the top of the box here um whoops sorry about that and uh so yeah here is the ultra local five pack so really cool there's the top of the card actually i really like this uh box style on the top uh, so El Toro Loco Evolution Edition 5-pack. Let me drop down my camera here for you guys. So uh, this is going to be an interesting review because um, it should be fairly quick, actually. There's only a couple new things about this pack. So let's start with the easiest one, which is Bulldozer. And like I mentioned before, Bulldozer is exactly the same as the previous edition from Series 17. I just swapped them up and I have no idea which one actually came in the five pack. I'm very confused now. So here is Bulldozer. Uh, whatever way you look at it, it's the same thing from last time. So here is that nice Bulldozer body. And I will give them credit. I love this Bulldozer and how it turned out. I just really wish they would have tossed on red rims. It's very simple to switch this up and um, they didn't take that chance. So here is Bulldozer. Uh, Monstrum.com, black tail lights, lots of airbrush detail. Uh, just really looks great in terms of the body style, the white horns. And uh, I'm just happy that we got Bulldozer this year, but we got it a lot um, for that. So Bulldozer is here with the front engine chassis and the retro tires. So the only front engine truck in this pack is this Bulldozer. And so. now it is time for what they are calling the 2001 El Toro Loco. I will put pictures on screen right now of 2001 El Toro Loco, what it's supposed to look like. And also again, a refresh with the prototype that we saw in the five pack originally. This truck, however, the actual 2001 El Toro Loco will be getting a release in Retro Rebels in Series 21 later this year around December. So it is getting an official release in the singles pack this year. So I can't be too upset about it. However, it would have been very, very nice to have it in its actual evolution pack from where it started. So here's the compromise El Toro Loco. It is actually a new variation of this El Toro Loco. It's not the same as a typical one because it's actually taking on the prototype of 2001 El Toro Loco's uh, nose ring. So the nose ring has changed to gray. You can see there that's a change on the nose ring color. Uh, and then the tailgate area, mine's a little messed up on the tampo print, but you can see the taillights are a dark maroon color as compared to the current day red one. So uh, this is a different El Toro Loco than we usually receive with the orange body, very technical variant. Uh, and then we have a black roll cage, gray chassis and retro tires for this 2021 slash 2001 mock-up of a El Toro Loco from that time period. So pretty cool to actually see with a new variant, but also not effective as the acting 2001 El Toro Loco. So there is El Toro Loco from 2001, 2021, whatever you want to prefer it to be called. And now we have uh, the 2008 El Toro Loco, which is actually the only exclusive truck to this pack because... Uh, if you're collecting it for just a new truck and not variations, this is the only truck you're buying it for, uh, which is the Maroon El Toro Loco from 2008. So I'm going to give a major, major props for this. I love this El Toro Loco. And if we were talking back in 2010 or 11, uh, and you told me a 2008 El Toro Loco or a Maroon El Toro Loco was going to be the reason you buy a future five pack, I would kind of laugh at you because um, Hot Wheels overdid the Maroon El Toro Loco, but Spin Master came back with it after so many years of being away from this El Toro Loco and put in their brand new casting and it looks amazing. So I gotta give them major, major props again for this specific truck and uh, the fact that it's the only real exclusive in this case. So here it is with the nice smooth flame pattern, the El Toro Loco logo being here and not centered 
monitor over the wheel well is accurate to the real life truck, the Monstrum logo being here as well. So no detail points lost there, that's actually accurate. There was also an alternative edition of the Altura logo with the uh, logo across the side, like the older 2001 edition. So hopefully one day we'll see that Maroon Altura logo with that logo across the side of the cheek. And um, there is the tailgate there, looks really good. And this side as well. There are chin hairs on there and uh, nice detailing of the hood and the horns there for this El Toro Loco. It is also one of two El Toro Locos in this pack that has chrome headers, but not shocks printed on, and black retro rims with black retro tires and a standard gray chassis. So El Toro Loco Maroon 2008 edition, very nice truck. I love how perfect this turned out in terms of the accurate uh, time period and the accurate details. Uh, I do hope that we see an alternative one with the uh, print across the side, but there it is, El Toro Loco Maroon, saving the pack here for the Evolution 5 pack of El Toro Loco. And next up is the black edition of El Toro Loco, which was from 2013. We just received a chase piece also from Series 17 of this El Toro Loco, and nothing has changed in terms of the body style. So we're looking at the same body, just a different chassis, which is actually a uh, lesser edition of the chase piece. So the chase piece had shocks printed on in orange and the chrome headers. Now we're just looking at the chrome headers. Uh, they also have retro tires, if you're noticing the retro tires versus the BKTs from the Chase Piece Edition Showtime truck. Uh, so yeah, an interesting release here. I, I understand why it's in this pack. I love Black Ultra Loco, but I really wish they would have done the uh, updated flame pattern and uh, the chin hairs in red would have been nice for this release on the five packs since they had some time to uh, change things up a bit. And um, yeah, so there it is, the Black El Toro Loco. Nothing too exciting since we just received a pretty souped up edition of this truck in Series 17's as the chase piece. Um, but yeah, there is the uh, Black El Toro Loco from 2013. And the last new truck of this pack is the Yellow El Toro Loco. Like I said, we just received many editions of El Toro Loco Yellow. So uh, it's back again. Last time we saw it uh, officially released to the public, it was in Series 15 with the purple beads, gray rims, and BKT printing. Pretty much a spot on yellow Toro Loco, as accurate as you can get it, besides adding a bandana to the actual horn. So this was pretty uh, high up there on the list. And now we're kind of going backwards with it being BKT list and orange beads. So that has been the El Toro Loco Evolution 5 pack. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm sorry to be such a downer about this pack. There's just a couple things that I really wish uh, could have been changed. There could have been very simple changes that made this pack more effective, such as the flame pattern here, maybe a bandana on the horn. The flame pattern and chin hairs for this would have made this much more exclusive factored. And um, the bulldozer also very simple. Rim swap could have made that really good. This is wonderful, nothing to complain about. And I feel like you guys got the gist of my opinions of the 2001 Imposter El Toro Loco here, which is not 2001 El Toro Loco. So there it is. Nonetheless, I think it's an awesome pack uh, for El Toro Loco fans, especially. I know there's a ton of El Toro Loco fans out there. Uh, anyone that loves the history of the sport, there's a lot of historic value about this pack as always. So anyway, Thank you guys for watching. I will let you guys as the community and Monster Jam fans comment below and let me know what you guys think about this pack and your opinions. My opinions aren't yours and I only express your opinions when they're commented onto videos like this. So let me know in the comments, let Spin Master know in the comments what you guys thought about this five pack and the changes that occurred between the original photos and the actual product. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. And until that next video, this is Ryan or Monster Jam OCD signing out.